Average or Best Cornhole here. Uh, today's video is going to be a little different because we've already given our opinions on the Wolverines. But basically, we've been seeing on social media and whatnot that people are asking, well, what's the difference with the Wolverine L? Like, what makes that a different bag? And it's, it's really not. It's just a lighter version of the Wolverine, right? I mean, this ain't like the Wizard L where they changed up the fill. It's the same exact fill. It just has less of it, therefore making it, you know, a lighter Wolverine. Yeah, same fill, same fabrics, but they do not play the same. They do not, no, no. A little bit floppier, a little bit more forgiving. Faster. Have a little bit more whole bodiness. Yeah, and that white slow side fabric, I guess, it, I mean, it's a different animal. Yeah, something's with it. So just a little more description on the company. Um, you guys know Kill Shots. We did the Wolverines already, but uh, you get a quality bag. You know, they make great bags. Uh, I won't get too much into the pricing and stuff like that, but, you know, these bags have a feel with the proprietary fast side that we haven't experienced with any other bag. It nothing. is great hand feel. Yeah, nothing feels like these Kill Shots uh, Wolverines do in your hand. Nothing in comparison. No, and, I mean, we like the Wolverines, right? But yeah, yeah. we did feel like they're more for advanced players yeah. or uh, beyond advanced players because you can cut and roll and flop them and all that. Yeah. And then they come out with the L's, and, I mean, that's just a great bag. Yep, yep. But yeah, like you said, the original Wolverines, they felt, you know, more advanced for than I wanted to play with, you mm -hmm. know, because I struggled. You know, I would get uh, – weren't super forgiving and stuff, so they came out with the L for the, the more average player like myself. So that's what we're going to talk about is, you know, what we see the difference between these two and which one we like better. Availability on these bags are still great. Uh, both the newer version of the L and the original Wolverines readily available in multiple different prints and designs on their website. So we're going to get into the cost with scoring, and we're not we're not rating kill shots on their cost. We, we already had a full discussion about that. We're actually going to rate them on the difference of cost once they drop the L versions, right? Because it seemed like a lot of companies, they put less fill in a bag and they'd raise the price. Kill Shots actually did not, so we congratulate them on that. We're going to give them a four-bagger for it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And plus, when the L's were released, I mean, they were on sale for $100 for a long time, too. And Kill Shots does have sales a lot, so there is that. If you can wait, you may as well just wait. Just like in our original video, these are um, available on their website at killshotcornhole.com. And plenty of, you know, Facebook pages and everything with, you know, pretty much the same title to find these guys. So getting into the speeds, uh, these are rated eight, eight on the fast side, five on the slow side. Uh, that's where we did, you know, immediately see a big variation. I don't know if it was the white and they did that on purpose, releasing, you know, a lot of white variations when they first brought these L's out. But the, the L's definitely with the white fabric for us played a lot more like a six. They were considerably faster than you know, the gray side that we have here on the original Wolverines that we got. It was very noticeable for both of us. Yeah, a lot faster. And it, I, I think it's the white, but it might be the lighter fill. I don't know. I mean, we tried running these down the ramp and everything, but there's such a big difference. Right. It, you can't tell because there's different weights and there's different carpets, really. Yeah, I guess eventually we'll have to get a different color L to see if really that white fabric does have that big of a difference in speed, which right. would be surprising for just a color variation in the fabric to be that much different. But but it's there. So template comparison, the Wolverine L's, I think because the lighter fill, they're flatter. I mean, they're like an eighth inch uh, thickness different than yeah. the regular Wolverines, but a 16th larger on the sides. It, it's got to be the less fill, right? Yeah, the bag just, you know, lays out more. I don't know. Maybe that's just the, the, the variation and potential tolerance between, you know, the, the bags. But it was enough for you to measure it. So Yeah, I mean, because you think they would use the same size squares. That, well, they'd have to by ACL regulation, right? right? It's right. got to be the same That's exact right. bag. So the same size squares, just thinner. It's going to. You know, seem wider because that's thicker and yeah, puffier. Yeah, more. Yep. yep. Um, the fill and the flop, same fill. The L's are definitely, you know, a little bit floppier. Not a lot, but you can feel it. There is a difference. Uh, still within my tolerance that I like, not too floppy. So mm -hmm. uh, I didn't mind it at all. Yeah, Kill Shots calls that the Overblend Watch or Overwatch Blend, something like that. And it, it's on the website. I mean, they both have that yep. Overwatch Blend. So. That's how we know that it's just a lighter bag. And that's going to lead us right into the bagmanship. Now, the actual bagmanship on these bags is great. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with them. All the seams are great. The closing stitch, there's no loose strings, nothing like that. Yeah. It's the weight. Uh, there was a big discrepancy in weight on these. Now, an L version bag is supposed to be around 5 grams lighter than the regular version. Typically, yep. But then measuring, the, you know, the weight of these L's, there was a four gram difference in the weight of those four bags amongst themselves and a two gram difference in the Wolverines. Anyways, it all broke down to there's 11.3 gram difference between the, the heaviest Wolverine 
and the lightest Wolverine L. And I mean, that's a hundred fifty dollar bag. I don't, yeah. I don't think you can have that. You yeah. know, plain and simple. That's a big discrepancy, and you know, I'll, we'll probably talk about it a little more. But I even made a comment while we were throwing these bags. I was like, one of them Wolverine L's is even faster than the rest of them, mm-hmm. and that could have been the bag with the large weight difference. It is, and when you're throwing all but eight bags at once. Yeah. I mean, you can imagine you'll feel eleven point yep. three grams yep. easily, and you do. I, I can every oh, time can I grab high, that. So. Yeah, exactly. Every time I grab that one, I'm like, oh, here's a light one. Yeah, right. All right. So getting into the forgiveness uh, on the L's, I found it much more forgiving. Um, I even you know went back to throwing the Wolverines again just for the talking points on this video and reaffirmed what I originally felt with the L's. A lot more forgiving. I was getting less less kicks that I wasn't prepared for and stuff. Now that probably, you know, equates to being able to cut them a little less than, you know, the regular Wolverines if you're, you know, experienced and good at doing that. But uh, way more forgiving outside of the small speed variation I noticed, which we think is due to the weight difference. Yeah, they are clearly way more forgiving, which is a good thing. And yes, you can cut them less, but they're also a floppier bag, so they're easier just to get around, especially right, right, with right. the added speed. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a benefit to it. Yeah, they still cut, don't get me wrong. It's just mm-hmm. not quite like the originals. And also the whole bodiness. I mean, we're going to give the nod to the L's and whole bodiness, too. And it's it's like, you know, a floppy, loose bag. I mean, there's more of a chance of this, you know, catching over the corner yeah. and dragging it in beads running over right and we've been saying i mean it, it just feels faster a faster bag is going to go in also yep. and i also uh think that you know how that's a flatter bag and we said it might be like there's more room inside that bag right so i think that when that happens also there's less time for the pellets to like settle yeah so they still could be moving a little bit once right, it gets right. up to the hole but i mean those things were a magnet for the hole yeah yeah i mean that makes sense with the bead movement in there and stuff and that's what i experienced those things uh, considerably, not considerably better, but I, I definitely had a better experience of, of getting them in the hole, you know, when close or off to the edge than I did with the regular Wolverines. Collectability on these bags, uh, I think the original Wolverines probably have a slight edge there just because of the fuller bag. They tend to, to grab and, you know, mm-hmm. tumble tumble up together, and, you know, and collect into the hole. Uh, the L still collected very well, in my opinion, but I, I'm going to give the nod to the original Wolverines there. Yeah, I think this is where the L, you know, loses the battle, too. I mean, the Wolverines were definitely more collectible especially if your bag was a little off center right. or something the L still collect especially oh, yeah. if it's yeah, a yeah. straight on shot mm-hmm. there's there's no doubt about that but trying to compare it to two the regular Wolverines are going to collect yeah. better now with that said these are probably a little easier to cut around a blocker with mm-hmm. you know just because of the lower profile the quicker speed I had a lot of success I'm um, getting around, you know, a slightly off edge blocker with the L's. So capable shots. I mean, we know that the Wolverines, it's capable of all the shots. Uh, the Wolverine L's, though, it's going to be more of a hole runner, right? Yeah, still capable of all the shots, but definitely more, you know, of a hole runner. You're going to struggle to play a dirtier game than you are than with the regular. Right. Runners. And I, I think someone can play that dirty game with them, but I think more people, more average people, more, you know, normal day throwers are just going to be running bags with that yep. hole. But I mean, running into the hole with that bag. That's essentially. what I was doing with them. So. <laughs> yeah. So we'll get into our final thoughts. And, and if you're serious enough to pay these prices, we're going to recommend these bags. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, for us average players, we're going to recommend the L's a little bit more. Yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with the Wolverine. That's still a great bag also. But the, the, those L's, I mean, they were, they were fun to throw. They're fun to throw. They're they're easier to throw. I mean, if we were you know going out to play a tournament today, you know I'm grabbing the L's over the over the regular Wolverines. Right. Even with that weight discrepancy, I mean, it, it, I still like playing them. Yeah. That could be a one off. I mean, if anybody else has these bags, you know, wants to weigh them and see if you see that big of a variation, let us know. Yeah, I, I might like a set that doesn't have it too. Yeah, right. You know, see how much better yeah. that plays, knowing that you know, because I, I tell you, I can feel that. Like, dude, that. I, I can tell from the board. Like I said, remember I was uh, telling you, I was yeah. like, I think one of them bags is just faster than the other ones. <laughs> yep. So we're gonna end it with everybody's average of some. If you're gonna be average, you may as well be average at cornhole.